So one of the most popular apps on the market is Mixing, which is perfect for people who like the iTunes Genius feature or Last.fm or other recommendation-based services um, because ev everything you do in it creates more recommendations for you. So when you start playing a song, um, it's going to gather information and it'll take a few seconds. So we'll take a look at some of the other stuff we have here. We have, you know, your basic shuffle and repeat. Uh, new music, we'll come back to that in a second. Um, you have this nice little artist info button in the upper left hand corner which will give you a bio of the artist which is pretty nice. And we have an equalizer which um, honestly I'd recommend staying away from uh, unless you really know what you're doing. It kind of eats up your phone's resources and it doesn't really have a lot of presets so it's not really necessary. So you'll see as we continue to play there we go, it says added 20 new recommended songs. Now it's created a playlist for us based on this song, so if we go to playlists, you can see mixing beneath these fireworks. Uh, right now the playlist only consists of songs that are actually from that album. But if we go back to now playing, and we hit this Q button in the upper right hand corner, you'll see we have that playlist plus a bunch of recommendations waiting to be added or removed. So I can hit these buttons, say I don't want this song, uh, let's say I do want this song. Oops, I just played it instead. Hit the plus sign to add it to the playlist permanently, and you can hit the X to remove things. And then if we were to go back to that playlist from the playlists menu, we would then see all those songs added onto it which is pretty nice. The other cool thing the recommendations at engine does is if you hit the more button and hit new music, oh, you'll see it will keep adding songs to your playlist as you play. If you hit the new music button, it will start playing 10 previews of songs that aren't in your library. And then I can hit this red X if I don't particularly like the song and it will skip it. Or I can hit the green plus sign if I do like a song, and it will add it to my shopping cart, which is a feature that is still in beta, but will eventually allow you to go buy those songs from online stores and, and view them for later. And then I can go back to my music. The app also has a few other cool features, like editing tags, and you can use a song as a ringtone, which is pretty handy. Um, but other than that, it's that's pretty much it. Most of it focuses around the recommendations. You can go into the settings and uh, kind of choose how it gives you those recommendations and things like that. Um, so you can download missing album art. You also have uh, Last.fm support, which is pretty nice, so you don't need a separate app to scrabble.